Valerian Gracius, the 23rd of October 1900 to the 11th of September 1978, was an Indian cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church. He served as Archbishop of Bombay from 1950 until his death and was elevated to the rank of cardinal in 1953 by Pope Pius XII. Topic: Biography. <inaudible> 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 Valerian Gracias was born in Karachi, British India in modern Pakistan, to Jose D. 1902 and Carlota Gracias. His parents were from Dramapur, Navalam, Goa, working in Karachi. He studied at St. Patrick's High School in Karachi, St. Joseph Seminary in Mangalore, and the Pontifical Seminary of Kandy in Ceylon, where he obtained his doctorate in theology. Ordained to the priesthood on 3 October 1926, Gracias then did pastoral work in Bandra until November 1927, when he entered the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome. He finished his studies at the Gregorian in 1929 and became private secretary to Archbishop Joachim Lima S.J. and Diocesan Chancellor of Bombay. He served as a preacher and pastor, and as the editor of various newspapers before being named the first Indian rector of Mumbai's Holy Name Cathedral in December 1941. On 16 May 1946, he was appointed Auxiliary Bishop of Bombay and titular Bishop of Thenesis. Gracias received his episcopal consecration on the following 29 June from Archbishop Thomas Roberts S.J., with Bishops Victor Fernandez and Thomas Pothacamari as co-consecrators. Pope Pius XII promoted him to Archbishop of Bombay on 4 December 1950 to replace Roberts, a 57-year-old Englishman, who made way for the appointment of a native-born Indian. Gracias demonstrated his support of Goan nationalism and an opponent of Portuguese colonial rule by presented an image of the Virgin Mary as an indigenous Indian at a time when the populace was still accustomed to European representations. On the 29th of November 1952, Pope Pius XII announced he would create 24 new cardinals, increasing the size of the College of Cardinals to 70 members, its maximum at the time. When one of those pious named died on 28 December, the Vatican announced on 29 December that Gracias would be made a cardinal, the first from India. He was made cardinal priest of S. Maria in Via Lata in the consistory of 12 January 1953. Gracias was considered to be a conservative. The Portuguese government denied reports that it was displeased with the honor bestowed upon Gracias. He was one of the 51 cardinal electors in the 1958 papal conclave and one of the 80 in the conclave of 1963. He attended the Second Vatican Council 1962 to 1965, where he was one of 21 council participants to present the closing messages of the council on the 8th of December 1965. He hosted the first papal visit to India in 1964, when Pope Paul VI attended the International Eucharistic Congress in Bombay, preceded by a symposium of Catholic theologians to which he invited Hans Kung. He later said that that Pope Paul VI's Bombay visit inspired his encyclical Popularum Progressio 1967. In 1970 he was one of 15 prelates chosen to organize the 1971 Synod of Bishops, and he supported Pope Paul against critics of his approach to church governance and insistence of priestly celibacy. From 1954 to 1972, he was president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of India and in 1972 helped overcome Vatican skepticism and win Pope Paul's approval of the formation of the Federation of Asian Bishops' Conferences. He fell ill in May 1978 and did not participate in the conclave of August 1978. Gracias died from cancer in Bombay the 11th of September 1978 at age 77. He was buried in Holy Name Cathedral in Mumbai. He was awarded the Padma Vibhushan Award, second highest civilian award of the Republic of India, on 26 January 1966.